green clay. See, it's sticking. You can see this whole, this soil has clay in it. That is why it is sticky. So we are washing that soil. So when you take a known quantity of soil and wash it, what you get is sand over there. So this exercise takes about 10 minutes. What you do is, you pour water and wash it till you get clear water below. Okay, that means you washed completely this oil, free from clay and silt. Can you just repeat last sentence, how you come to know that? Yeah, see, you take known quantity of soil, dry soil, let's say 500 grams of the soil, you keep it on this mesh and wash it so that you remove clay and silt from the soil. So what remains is sand. You weigh that, you dry it and weigh it again. So you will know the dry weight of sand corresponding to the dry weight of soil. That you can express it as a percentage. So that you know what is the quantity of sand in the soil. That's an important parameter for us to understand. But this process is, is calculated, I mean it is it depends upon time, okay, 10 minutes roughly or... It's not necessarily, time may not be a criteria to understand. What we are ultimately look at is only the sand content. And you can see with your hand, like, okay, it is... You, yeah, one can develop a feeling for the soil. So, as I said, uh, no, there are very simple processes to understand uh, soil. Let's say you know you have taken dry soil, pour a little water. You can try to make a lump out of it. You mix it thoroughly. You can try to make a thread out of it. Okay, if you can make a thread like this, which means it has clay. If you, if the soil has a lot of sand, you will not be able to make a thread of it. Okay, that is one of the way to understand soil. So, so this is something which helps us to understand. It has both uh, the silt and clay and sand in it. And you can see all that what is sticking to the hand is clay. Because silt is inert, sand is inert. You cannot probably make a even small ball out of it. It's not possible. Okay. Different kinds of soils are available. Either which is the one? Or you want to Bihar in the middle? No, it's Chowdhury. See, that is red soil. Okay. Again, there is one more soil here. This is from the uh, northern part of India. It's close to Bihar, somewhere in Bihar, I think. Okay. So, this particular soil, you can see it is very fine. This we call it as a silty soil. It's predominantly silty. You can see fine dust in the soil. It also has small quantities of clay. Sand is very very fine. See here you, you find little coarser material also in this red soil. Whereas in this soil you have mostly silt. So here if we try to if we try to do the same exercise See, you, you can form lumps, 
it it has some clay but this clay is not enough no it is not enough to make a thread out of it it's it's difficult to make it's not so easy as we did that you need to of course take the right amount of moisture so we can the soil is little difficult to handle so which which only says this also has clay otherwise it is difficult to make uh, this kind of thread so there are different kind of soils red soil is uh, something which is generally used uh, because most of this uh, area you have red soil this is from northern part of uh, india where in the color is different mm -hmm. but still you can make stabilized mud blocks out of this also and you will make some more stabilizer in it what me Uh, Generally, know. the stabilizer content yeah, varies from right. seven to ten percent cement. Yeah, that is a kind of uh, variation. It is. This might need a little more cement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.